See from the bookies ring, you're getting great value with the favourite on the toad, aren't we, Pat, at $2.90? Indeed we are, Brendan, yes. It's, uh, it's a pleasure to be here, and we are on the favourite, the punter's podium. It's uh, my top selection. The horse has been going very well. Uh, I think it's well weighted. I noticed Damien hasn't got any uh, spurs on today. I don't think he'll need them. It was a very soft win, they say, last start, but very impressive. Indeed, yeah, very impressive. Uh, I think around a gallant third behind Lee Espion. Uh, unfortunately, it, uh, it come against uh, a bad luck and it was put down, but uh, very, very impressive when it ran third and come out and just showed that form and uh, won very impressively last start. Well, that's the galloper on screen. Damien Oliver up. You're looking for the yellow cap and at Morfordville by Ken Swinney. Number one is Napier Street, and uh, the locals would love to see Bev Buckingham win another big race. Yeah, indeed, and, and got good form. Only got beaten two and a half lengths at Mornings and behind Court of Honour, and uh, that forms a race. Well, the top weight is currently showing at $7.90, and uh, that is overs on uh, what the bookies are offering on the track. Same for King's Landing at $2.90. Siri Nelg at $10 is well overs on its current quote in the ring. Do you give it a chance at all in the race, Pat? I, I do indeed, Brendan. Yeah, I, I think it's got a great chance. And we all know how uh, Peter Merton's ride rides. He rides very, very well indeed. It's drawn a good alley, drawn four. And uh, we all know that uh, the horses uh, put up very good performances. And uh, I think you put up one again today. I don't know if our camera guys upstairs can help us. We need a, a shot of free beer. The horse leading them out. Twice the winner of this great race, the Liquor for Less Launceston Cup. What a great winner, free beer and a Liquor for Less race. Yeah, indeed. Unfortunately, free beer broke down uh, about a, a week ago. Unfortunately for Gary White. Um, and this horse would have given the, uh, the race another shake today had it not broke down. But you have to see the horse here on track. And uh, yeah, it looks in fine fettle. Unfortunately, just not... Two lightweight chances. Number 12, Floodlight, sold last year for $200, has won its last five. Can it crack the big time today? Well, you know what $200 buys do, Brendan? They just keep on winning, don't they? It's won its last three. Um, obviously, it's got to be a great chance. It's drawn eight. Dean Larson rides. Very good. It's a tough race. Well, job of filling in for Pete Gilligan with the phantom call on the radio here this morning, and I tipped Rococo, um, which is a very dour type, and they say it's the type of horse that'll be well suited by the 2600. Yeah, indeed, it ran a, it ran a half head behind uh, the uh, horse we just spoke about, Floodlight, last start. Uh, it's got some sort of hope. It's drawn 11. It's, it's probably got the job ahead of it. I'd probably uh, tip Del, Delgado boy in front of it, the eight. So what are your, conclu in conclusion, your top selections for Betbusters? Well, my, my top selections are tipping for Betbusters for the first time, actually. Uh, two, one, three and eight. Cup here. I think if they uh, box the tie effect, they'll go cl close to getting the cash. I know the Mounting Yard males come up with two, one, thirteen and uh, number eight, and I'm hoping Rococo can give me a collect today. How's business going? Yeah, hopefully with the TAB down here and we want to put it into every pub, club and TAB. As you would know, being from Sydney, we're, uh, we go into pubs, clubs and TABs with our Wednesday, Thursday night Greyhounds, uh, four-state coverage, Friday night Harold Park Trots and Richmond. Uh, we cover most races, Melbourne, Sydney, Brisbane, Adelaide, Perth and Toowoomba for Saturday racing. Uh, you should have bet buses in your outlet. You've got to give your punters every chance of winning. And you've had a great run today with the winners too, haven't you? Indeed, yeah. We've backed a few winners, and uh, Peter Ellis, he's found a few winners on top, as our uh, Sydney man has. And uh, the punters podium, as you know, I'm running uh, one here, and we've had $2,000 on King's Landing. Well, let's hope <laughs> the King gets safe and does land. Thanks for that, Pat. Yeah, been a pleasure, Brennan. Pat O'Shea there, not the Pat O'Shea, the Toowoomba race caller, but Pat O'Shea. Busters, still a firm favourite, but offering great value on the tote. The favourite here, King's Landing, and very, very firm in the bookies ring, Nick, as the big race approaches. Group 3 status, and there's been some super winners over the years. Marvellous race to see Damien Oliver there. Thank you very much, Brendan. And good luck to you, Pat, with Betbusters. Now, let's have a look at these dividends. On the previous at Fairfield, 5, 3 and 2. The, the last couple of Guideline and the early leader, Russian Dance. Off now in the cup at Mowbray. Cara Dickens began well and so did East Beach. A big roar from the crowd. Prince Baracus just behind them with Rococo. Lee Gauntlet trying to push up on the inside of Wexford, then Floodlight. Napier Street caught out a little bit deep going up on the outside now and they were followed then by King's Landing. He'll settle down about fifth last and behind him is Delgado Boy, Brilliant Sunshine. And the last one is Siri Nelg. So they leave the 2200 metre mark and come down the grandstand side of the course. And carting him along now was each beast the leader. He's showing the way by two lengths and setting a good uh, pace. In second place, Dickens and Lee Gauntlet over on the fence is third. They're followed after a length and a half by Eildon Road, who's back on the inside of Prince Baracus, then Wexford. They were followed by Floodlight, Napier Street, King's Landing, Rococo, Delgado Boy, Brilliant Sunshine, Sirinelg and Mukara. Whips them in and he'd be about 12 lengths from the first horse.
So they turn out of the straight at the 1600 metre crossing and each beach is carting them along. He sets a good speed by two lengths to Lee Gauntlet. A length and a half away third is Dickens and two to Wheel and Road as they start to string out. A length and a half Prince Baragas two to Wexford Floodlight. Then came Napier Street worse than centre field. A length and a half King's Landing is following Napier Street then Delgado Boy Rococo. Brilliant Sunshine. Second last Siri Nelgan Mukara is the last one. They make the turn at the back of the course with 1,200 to go. East Beach got away, about three or four lengths in front of Lee Gauntlet. In third place, two lengths away, Dickens, Wonder Wheeled and Road, close and handy. A length and a half, Prince Baragas, there followed by Wexford. Napier Street taking off, floodlight sticking to the fence. Trailing that trio then is King's Landing. A length and a half, Rick Coco in company with Delgado Boy, Brilliant Sunshine. Second last still in the race is Siri Nelgan Mukara is two lengths away. 800 to go in the cup now. East Beach is still the leader, giving a bold front running exhibition by two lengths. Prince Baragas went to second. Dickens is third. Here's Napier Street whipping up to fourth. King's Landing is now starting to come into the picture and the sprint is on with 600 to go in the cup. Just under 600 metres to travel. Prince Baragas went up and grabbed East Beach. Napier Street is being hard ridden. King's Landing is coming to the outside of them. They're followed by Rococo. Brilliant Sunshine has made grounds. Dickens dropping out. Floodlight's not doing enough. Prince Baragas the leader from King's Landing. Napier Street on the fence. Still the leader is Prince Baragas from King's Landing. Napier Street, the rails. Prince Baragas still the leader on the outside. King's Landing coming now. It's King's Landing going to Prince Baragas and King's Landing will win the cup. King's Landing won it from Prince Baragas. Napier Street was third. Rococo on ice run. Mukara came from last. Brilliant Sunshine next. Siri Nelg never in the hunt. Eildon Road, Dickens, Floodlight not up to it. Wexford dropping out East Beach and back with it. Delgado boy and here's Lee Gauntlet got the socks when she couldn't lead and she was tailed off. One of the greatest riders you'll ever see is Damien Oliver and there he was on King's Landing just absolutely getting every ounce out of that horse he possibly could. He had nothing left that horse King's Landing and uh, Damien just knew where the line was and got him home just in front of Prince Baracus and Napier Street. The trifecta will be okay after race 7 at Mowbray. Race 8 at Seymour 580 developments swiftly slipper at 14170.